Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cecilia and today I'm going to show you how I'm changing just slightly some of the inserts that I'm using to transform this guy, which is my personal Van der Speck rings, into my everyday carry. So I wasn't really carrying this blender to work, but after reflecting on what my options were, I decided that I want to try it out. Why? because it can change what the inserts that I have in here and it's smaller than what I was carrying uh, previously. I also had tried carrying my Hobonichi wigs, but Hobonichi wigs is super de decorative and doesn't really have a lot of space for what I need right now. And uh, the other system that I was trying before was my Hobonichi cousin, which I haven't shown here yet, but in a couple weeks I'm gonna show a video because I've been trying different things and I think that now I am finally like figuring out how uh, those two planners are gonna work for me right now. Okay, so um, I have a video um, showing the uh, setup for this planner, but I'm gonna go through this quickly so that you understand what are the changes that I am making to transform this into my everyday carry. So here are the tabs that I have. And I have at first an inbox section that in fact is just a thick um, cover. It was a Happy Planner cover that I cut and I use this uh, page. It's not like a sticky note, it's a note page. Uh, and I put a couple of things that I want to get done, but I haven't transferred yet to my planner. So this is just like some bring them that I do uh, let's say at a certain moment in time. It's not really like in the beginning of a week, in the beginning of the month. I just drop things here and whenever I don't have more space where everything is done, I just remove. So I have a couple lists here. Uh, these are more structured lists like recurring tasks and wish list. And here I have my work session. And that's why I thought that why I'm not carrying this to work. I have a lot of things from work here. And I was having a hard time transferring those inserts to uh, another system. So here I have like a monthly plan. So basically everything that I want to get done at work in a specific month. So it's also a way to control projects. I have a task breakdown and I'm using mainly for writing projects. Like articles, reviews and protocols that I have to write. So I'm not going to show all of them. I have the monthly views and those monthly views are with those dot stickers and everything like color coded, but it's mainly for work. I don't have anything personal going on here. And then I have a checklist. So those are lists of, of things that I need to get done. And uh, I don't know yet what day specifically, but those things need to be done normally. Uh, these things they I get them from meetings so after meetings i just go through my notes and i copy them here and then i just pass this to a weekly planner which is my uh, hobonichi cousin so i'm gonna show you but i'll be certain to do a video showing this so this is how a weekly looks like in my hobonichi cousin so i just write here things that i need to do and when those things need to be done so i'm using this tool a lot in conjunction but I like to plan in a weekly just to have like a bigger view of what I'm doing in a certain week, but I do not, not necessarily need to be carrying this around. So this plan is gonna stay home, but I'm gonna talk about it later when I can tell you like, okay, I've been doing this for a month or a certain amount of weeks so that I know that it's really working. So this is still, is working right now, but I just wanted to let it sit for a bit more time. So I have the checklist here. And this is being like the main thing of this planner. In this planner, I have my daily pages. And that's why this planner has been by my side when I, I'm like around the house or now when I'm going to work, which is not still every day because we're working on shifts. But um, I have a mix of things here that are personal and related to work. But I got the feeling that I really like those daily pages and I just wanted to have this every time with me and not being like repeating them if I have to carry another system to work. So that's why. So I have here a couple months I'm carrying now 
well it's only two because they only have the tab of august so we're gonna be inserting this and here in the back i started doing some memory planning in this insert but this is not something that i do every week so i thought i don't really need this to stay here and that will like give me some space when i put the other a uh, couple of things that i want and initially this last part that said notes i have just note pages on the back um and i really wanted to give more space for this part because i could like write a couple more detail of things of my day so if not everything um if everything is not fitting in a daily page i can write a couple things here and because i snip the pages i can easily take this out and like take this to the cell culture room i mean i work in a lab so this thing will mainly sit on my desk at the office area but we work in a wet area in a wet lab and i could just easily take these notes with me uh yeah so okay so what i want to do today is first i want to include a month in one page so here i have my folder what some of the inserts that I already, already prepared, so they are here. So this is the insert, I'm gonna show you the uh, empty page. So this is from Infinite Lotus, and uh, I was looking for a uh, one month, I mean a month in one page, that would have uh, space to put priorities and also a space to write down what exactly I was marking in each day, and let me show you why this is important so because i want to have a system that would represent everything in my life not only work but also personal i think it's sometimes i shift sometimes i don't want to carry to work anything that is related to my personal life i will only want to work things but i guess sometimes it's hard to put those apart so for now i wanted a mix of it but i want it to be compact so that i can be carrying things around so this month in one page will give me an overview of what's happening in the month, especially now that I'm not going to work every day. I need to know when I'm in and when I'm not so that I uh, can plan other things. Like if I'm going to work this day, maybe that would be a good day to do groceries when I'm you know, coming back home. Or this is not a good day to have um, an appointment like on a phone call. Like I just had... Um, a different experience with um doctor appointment that now it's like a it's it through the phone so i don't want to have it at work because well i don't have network in my lab where i work because my, my lab is in the basement but also i mean when i'm at work i don't want to be receiving calls and be doing other stuff so it's important to know and also i can coordinate with my husband like this day i have to go to the lab so here i have it color coded so i already prepare here my color code key and if this is something that works and I'll be carrying around to like transferring to other months, I will be memorizing this already. I mean, I already kind of know, but I like to have this as a reference and also it looks cute. Uh, but as the months pass by, I'll probably not need this anymore. But basically I have it color coded in a way that the lighter is family and fun. So let's say is also like oh we're gonna go on a bike ride or we're gonna take our son to this new park or things like this um so the the pinkish it's personal the darker blue is for seminars and meetings the mid medium one is for experiments and the light one is for lab shift of course like if i'm doing an experiment that means i'm in the lab so some of them would kind of overlap but so far i think it's nice because i can quickly see if I'm at home or if I'm working in the lab on that day and also if I have something important that I need to know like just by looking at one page and it's nice to have this top three priorities I decided to do in a way that I will give like a priority that is related to our health to our something fun to do with our family and a priority at work because there are projects that I want to get done so I just put the priorities here. So I decided to do for July. So we are, today is what day? Uh, 19th July. And I decided to just do the entire month of July to see if I like it. So I printed one page and I try it out. So first of all, do my stickers fit? Do they look nice? 
uh, how am I writing things? I don't know. Just like the way, like the way it looks. It's going, it's really going to help me, and I think it does, and I really like it. I saw, I was on a hunt for this um, monthly month page in different websites, and I it turned out that I found this in uh, Infinite Lotus, and also I could see how Rebecca from Eat Pray Love was using it, um, and I and I and I really think that this is a a good one for me and here what we have in the lower part it's you can write down what those dates are and of course because I did it after well you might hear my son screaming <laughs> in the background um, so I could put the dates and write what they are about but I figured that even if I'm doing it as the days go by um, I'll, those numbers will probably not be in order, but that's okay. I am not going to be stressed about that. And something that I wasn't super sure when I saw, uh, the PDF file is that you don't have like one month in a page. You have, you get a month and you get a bucket list. That I, and I was a bit like, oh, I wish it was just a month because I just went on the page. But now writing it down, I really like that there is this bucket list in the back because you can write a lot of things that you want to get done. Um, because I'm using this planner in, in conjunction with my Habanichi cousin, I also have a big list going on in here. Um, so I think it was nice, but because I had all the space, I could just write a bunch of things that I'm like, I think this is important to be done this month, or I wish I could do this. So it's kind of something that it's not something that it's, you know, it's not an appointment, but like, I want to, I don't know, go get ice cream, go for a bike ride, call my parents more often, or talk to my friends more often, or send happy mail to friends, I don't know, some of the things that you want to get done. So I think this was just cool, and I realized that I did do a lot of these things for July, so yay. So this is the insert that we're gonna be uh, adding, and I already have printed out the dailies for August, so this part is here. So let's see how it's gonna look like. So I thought, I changed a couple of things here in the decoration, so let's talk about this first. I just received this, uh, it's a magnet pin from Happy Scrappy, and um, I have a cat that looked just like that, so I loved it. Um, this is from Cloth and Paper, it's a calendar, and I just got this clip from Planner Monkey Co. So I decided to put this here. Um, this is a die cut from the Coffee Monsters Co. And these are the washi tapes that I've been using a lot in this um, in my daily pages. So here it is, and here I haven't yet put my name because I'm afraid of uh, you know doing it ugly and writing here. But I have to do this now that I'm gonna take this with me. This is important. All right, so here is the inbox part. So I thought of putting this month in one page in here because then I would have the things that I have to do and I can quickly look at it without having to go through the pages. I thought at first I would like to have it like this, but I kind of like the way that it looks this way. So I know that it's like right behind the inbox page. Yeah, so here how it is. And I'm gonna have it in here. So for those that are not, that I like starting in rings, when you print and punch, I do like some snips because it's easier. At first, when I saw some videos of other planners doing that, I was like, I mean, what's, you know, open and close, it's fine, but it's not, it's really easier this way. <laughs> I was wrong. So over time, I realized that this is better. So I'm gonna cut more snips on this one here so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So where's my scissor? here so you just like cut so here is one month oh I haven't talked about it but when I was printing I had in here my to planner the things that I wanted and to get done so everything I haven't finished it all but I really like this insert is from Peanuts Planner Co. And I think it's really nice when you, especially when you decide to change things, like I, I want this and I think I want that. So we just write in here and then it's a nice place to go back to. Uh, yeah, this is a drawing from my son. 
So you see, so just put it in easily. So where's the other ones are here? I have three pages. I have done like two pages at once, but I think depending on your each scissors you have, you could do more. Yeah, so it's here. Okay, so I will have to prepare August later, but July I just did as a test and I think I think it worked just fine. And okay, so we have August. Yeah, so you see that my tabs don't look great. I mean, when you put like this, I do feel like they look nice. <laughs> but those are also from Happy Planner. Um, Planner is from the Teresa Collins. And I think I will put like, I will cut something and put here, like a um, card stock, like something black and just cover. But for now, that's why it looks terrible. So I'm also gonna include those pages because I want to see how bulky it's gonna get. Maybe I will, it's time to remove June. Oh, I did a terrible job here. Do you see how it's not well cut? But okay, I'm gonna use it anyways. I'll have to do a better job later. Okay, here's this more. I haven't done this for July, so this is the first month that I'm doing this for the daily pages. And oh, it's so much better because sometimes I do write on my rings, like I don't remove the page to write, but if I'm like, I realize, I mean, if on my couch, I just write in it, but if I'm like here on my desk, I like to, I don't know, I, I like to remove the page so that I have more space. And um, I don't know if I'm frame, sorry. So it's easier. You don't have to be like open and closing your rings. Those rings are really good but still and also they are when they close is it's just like you know like clack I, I sometimes i'm afraid i'm gonna pinch my 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 fingers you know it closed so strong like those rings okay so let me This guys, okay, last ones. So this daily insert is from Simple and Trendy Co. And those are the ones that are really working for me right now. So let's see how bulky it is. Uh, it's not as much, but I feel like I'm not looking to June as much anymore. So June can go, yeah, okay. Bye June. So, is it all? Well, I do have this here. As, I think I can remove this as well. I don't know why I have this. Um. Okay, so I'm removing June. I'm keeping this page. Because something that I do, it's not done, okay. Sorry, something else. I'm gonna remove the the memory memory planning pages because I don't want. I will. I'm not gonna be doing this when I'm work. And okay, sorry. This is some family photos. I'm gonna leave. This is something that I start writing. I got this idea from. Lindsay Scribbles, I just write when I change the um, refill of the pen because then I know when I'm have to. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna get more pages of this one. So this is here on my accordion folder. So I have them here, yes. And they are even already. So nice. So in my past video, 
I talked about this as a place to stock pages. It's it's really helping. Okay, so I'm including more pages here. Nice. So I think it's good. Oh, and something I didn't put when we go to my inbox with my months is this. So I have the so this was something that I, I was thinking of getting a adhesive, uh, adhesive pocket to put here. But I have this from Filofax. So I decided to use this for now. I think it's a little bigger. Um, but yeah. Yeah, this is because it was a cover before. <laughs> it has this flower here. So it doesn't look that great. But yeah, I'm just going to. Oops, I took two. This sticky note is from uh, the planner spot. I think I'm gonna leave this here for now and I'm gonna put there. Let's see. I also had this one, so I was thinking maybe of getting the sticker sheets and placed them here, but I don't know. I didn't, yeah, yeah, I make it bulky, but let's see. But I think this is really pretty. It's also, from, also those cards are from the planner spot. But for some reason, it's, it's a little bit hard to remove the stickers from here. And I think here will be easier. So you'll see what I'm talking about, those rings. Like, okay. Sometimes I'm really afraid I can pinch my finger. Okay, so this is how you see. I This is what is I'm not loving because those tabs are kind of exactly the size of the page and not a little larger I don't think you look it looks good is it gonna be bothering me a lot uh, kind of bothers me it kind of bothers me a little bit uh, another thing that I can do is use this let's see so I can like place this a little bit on the top and have this in here Let's see how it fits. So those dot stickers, I don't know if I said it already. It's from AliExpress, but you can find them on Amazon too. I'll put the link below. Um, uh, they come in different colors. I have different colors here. See, there's also this one and like that one, all that. But I, I like those here. I like blues. Um, yeah, so it was also a tip from Rebecca from Eat Pre Plan. She got a bunch of those, but I think I saw on another channel before, but I forgot her name. Uh, Sylvia, uh, I forgot the channel, but I will try to link it below if I remember. Um, so yeah, so maybe this will look better because this guy is too big, so how can I... This is my problem with those. Uh, so this is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And this is just so cute. And I don't really want to. So I just cut it. You can see it's, it's a, this, uh, it has some sticky thing on the back. Adhesive. I don't know how to say this word. So I think I would just for now use this clip in here. If I find the pockets that I bought <laughs> that I think they're a little larger I'll probably place them here and I won't be that whoops worried about them but I'm not sure yet I want to place these guys permanently so I think that yeah I think I'm gonna do this so I'm gonna remove these ones Oof. yeah and this is gonna stay here I can maybe like place the stickers in the back pocket too it's just that this is super thin let's see so i'm gonna have to be like being a little bit extra careful with them which i don't want to be that worried about this dot stickers you see because they are already here they can come off it's not like those guys here a little bit more um not resistant but sturdier they don't go they don't come off as uh, as easy so I have a couple more stickers that I can use here sometimes I 
sometime i don't know what happened in july but i was missing like two pages like um front and back so four days and uh, but when i got my hobonichi cousin because i was trying it out as if i would use the daily pages as a everyday carry so i had a couple daily pages that i didn't use in here so i had those and i could just use the numbers and i have some here in the back pocket Oop, not this ones this ones with the um, week like this with the weekdays so then i just um use this two together to correct my mistake so that's why I like to carry them. Because sometimes I think, do I really need to carry all the stickers with me? Yes. Even if it's just because I'm downstairs, I don't want to like allow to go all the way up here just to grab a uh, Wednesday because I forgot a Wednesday. So it's really nice to have them all. And also like when I took this to work, so I tested, I took this to work yesterday and it was cool to have it all with me you know i had my washi tape i have my stickers and i you know i had it all i wasn't like oh i forgot this at home so it was nice that i have like this i have this big back pocket where i can put stickers and those guys anyways i was talking about the dot stickers i'm sorry yeah so should i live in here for now until i figure out the sticker pocket crisis i think so okay let's do this i said i wouldn't but i think it's fine and i will maybe put less things here i will leave the dates oops in the back i have this i have this girl stickers i guess i can put them in another pocket and these tiny ones too i guess i can just put in here yeah okay done there's other ones, they go here. And I have some more here as well. Okay, so I think it's nice this way. And it's not so bulky. So I ended up not using the pockets that I already have. No problem. So I removed the memory planner pages. And if you ask where I'm gonna put them, I have this other planner at work. I work at home <laughs> I have here at home and I don't have anything like that I have to plan it's just insert so I have the family insert from May Paper Co and I think it's really nice because it has just some information about my son and I also have the pet insert from any blends and I have some information about Oreo um, here yeah and I have some, I have a self-care section and because I was using this one, but when I got this guy, I moved into this, but I had to take some pages apart. So I think that now this will be a nice place to store inserts that are not like, and it's not, it's not where I do my planning. It's just like lists and information about my kids and maybe the memory planning too. So this is where the memory planning is going to go for now, if you want to know here um all right so i hope this guys won't move as much oh let me show the magnetic thing if you guys are curious about so it's like that it has just this magnetic thing so you just put in here and it stays yeah and i kind of put this too in fact i just put a washi here to hold them together because it, this is transparent but i felt like with this other one in the back it looks a little better. It's just a July calendar. This is from um, the um, subscription box from Cloth and Paper. And I do hope that they will come with this every month now. I think we got it in June as well. So, I don't know. I hope they keep doing this because this is really, it looks really nice. Um, yeah, so let's do a final flip. So, the inbox is here. The things that we're going to do. Okay, this guy can go because... We are not going to use this for now. I don't know if I'll change my mind later. I'll put the clip back here to hold the calendar. So we have the color coding that can go back to the middle for psychological reasons. I preferred it here. Here's the month in one page from Infinite Lotus. And um, yeah, so I will have to plan August, but I'll do this in a couple weeks. 
the other ones already here, which is cool is that I can just go and put things that are already planned. I might do this for the rest of the year. I know you're all afraid, what if they get rescheduled and you're gonna have to, you know, cross off. I might do then only like very important things like Halloween, <laughs> you know. Nobody's gonna change Halloween's day, although last year, well, I'm in Canada, I'm in Quebec. And last year there was like a storm and for the first time in many, many years they canceled Halloween. And instead of celebrating October 31st, we have to do it on November 1st, which is crazy for some people. I was fine because it was super cold outside. It was like minus a lot. And I'm like, well, I don't want my son to get pneumonia. So I was okay, but I understand some people that are like hardcore Halloween fans. They were like, no. <laughs> but I'm not sure we're going to be out trick-or-treating this year, but I want to do something at home. Anyways, it's just like, we are going to do something at home at that day. Anyways, so like, you know, birthdays, maybe. Right, so this is going to be doing. So here we have the list. Those are the recurring tasks that I've been using. Not since January. I started with the ring plan in February. So, wish list. Work with the monthly plan. The task breakdown. The monthly pages. The checklist, what everything needs to be done. The daily pages. You see, this is how I am using sometimes the washi tape. I do like it. Those washi tapes are from Amazon too. I'll put the link below. So we just included August. Something that's missing. I like to put a dashboard in the beginning of each month. This was the one for July. Let me show you for... June. June, I had this too. They are from Grumpy Bear Studio, but I think now she changed the name and it's Bear Necessities. Grumpy Bear Necessities. I don't know the name. Um, This is the plant mom uh, combo. It was a, like a digital pack and it came with a lot of cool things. Sometimes I'm doing this when I can't decide which one I want. I just put one top of each other. So I just put this too. And it ended up to be something that I'm doing always is like just layering um, different dashboards that I print in vellum. So this was the month of July and I love this doll from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do for August. August is my anniversary month. So I was thinking of doing something that would remember me of my marriage. Our marriage has as a, had as, as a theme... Uh, lavender feuds and things like this because we whoops we lived for a couple of years in the south of France but I'm not sure I want to do this I don't know there are some other things that I want to do but I will have a video about August setup and I'll come back to show you if I am loving my one month in a page and how it looks like for August and I think for August it will be also a nice um, time to show you how I'm using this together with my Hobonichi cousin. And um, yeah, so I exci I'm excited to share this with you. So hope you like this video and give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you were new here, I hope you subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments if you have any doubts. Bye.